Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I want to respond back to a question that came in today during, uh, during the class involving the difference between the 278 math and science exam, that new general curriculum math and science exam, and the 68 test. A teacher wasn't so sure which one to take, and I think this would be really helpful just to clarify some of the differences. The, the 68, sometimes it's, it's, called the, uh, it's called the elementary mathematics 68 test. And um, this can be a little confusing because it says elementary, and so you're thinking, hey, it's got to be the easier math. It's not quite the easier math. This test is a, a, a test that's twice as long, twice as many questions in terms of the, the 78 test, a little bit almost twice as many questions, and it's all math. So, so a really good way to, to get a sense of the difference in these exams is to go to the Pearson website, type in elementary ma mathematics, MTEL 68, and get to this practice test, and, and just take a look and, and go through some of these problems here. This would be a, for a teacher that loves doing math, and this exam is all math. And so if that's you, if you want to take on an exam all about math, then this is a, this is a really good starting point. You, you get to do an exam that's all about math here. Okay, a lot of math going on here. And this is an exam that has two essay questions, two math essay questions, as opposed to one. Now I'm showing you this because some teachers do love math, and they may be thrilled to know that this is an option to meet that math um, component of the exams. But there are also some teachers that aren't crazy about math. And so that's, that tends to be where teachers have taken the general curriculum exams. Now this, the new one, the 278, I know it's new. And I know that anything that's new is terribly frightening and scary. But this is an exam that instead of having maybe 100 multiple choice questions, it only has uh, 60. And the breakdown of 60 is 32 of the 60 are math and 28 are science. So this would be a test that uh, would be for the teacher that uh, does, um, that's not crazy about math, only because you, you, you don't have nearly as many math questions. You only have 32 math questions as opposed to 100. And, and there, the total amount of questions is almost half. This is a, has about 60 multiple choice questions combined between the math and science. And, and this one here has about 100 math questions. So that's almost, you, you have half as many questions. Now team, I, I don't want to sell this exam because I know it's going to be very hard. Usually the first six months that these exams are out, they're very hard because they're so new. And there's, there's no way you're going to be able to get around that. You're going, to be, you're going to be taking a new test. There's always a learning curve. And it's, it's very challenging to overcome that learning curve if you've never had exposure to it. You actually have to do it and, and you learn from it. But, but I'm just, I would just say if you're trying to decide which one to take for the teacher that asked, um, this is one that has significantly less math on it. It has 32 math concept, 32 questions on it. Uh, and, and the science, and although you're going to be adding on the science, and that's going to be challenging, there's going to be a lot of content here, this would be for the teacher that, you know, um, isn't, isn't crazy for math. Only do this exam here, the 68, if you're crazy for math, meaning you love math and you want to do twice as much math because you can't get enough of it, and you love it. And, and there are honestly a lot of teachers out there that, that would prefer to do this, but you have to understand you're going to have to do twice as much math, twice as fast, Okay, and the math questions are probably going to be more in depth. All right, so, so just um, take, take that into account. All right, team, I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, take care. Bye-bye.